So you just had a baby and then your nurse comes in and tells you that your baby is Coombs positive. What the heck does that mean? So basically it has to do with a blood type mismatch, right? So you could have type A, B, O, AB blood and your baby could be any of those as well. It doesn't just happen with moms who are type O. You're a little more likely to if mom is type O, but it can happen with any of them, the blood types. But basically, mom's blood type recognizes baby's blood type that's different, that sees those antibodies, and it's like, attack! So basically, baby's red blood cells being attacked and damaged, breaking, this is called hemolysis, when they break down, that releases bilirubin, which is a component of red blood cells. Excess bilirubin buildup is what can cause jaundice, which are those little banana yellow babies that we love so much. And a lot of times, this is why if a baby is born, so we get their blood type right when they're born, we get their blood type and we check their Coombs status to see if they are Coombs negative or Coombs positive. So if your baby is Coombs positive, that's when we're like, oh, okay, they're more at risk to have that hemolysis, which means they're more at risk for jaundice. I hope this is making sense. So those babies, we will check their bilirubin levels probably a little bit more often, and they might qualify for needing some support for um, the jaundice. And the treatment typically for this is using a billy light, so it can be a billy blanket. It can be a bank light, which goes over the crib, over the baby, and that light helps break down that bilirubin so baby can excrete it. So we also are watching their poops really closely because we want them to poop, so we also want them to eat because more eating and more pooping means that they're getting that bilirubin out. So now you know if you have a baby born and they say your baby is Coombs negative or Coombs positive, you'll say, I know what that means.